In this video, we will continue our examination of operations on radical expressions, and we'll focus on the quotient property of radicals. Now, the quotient property of radicals says that if you have the nth root of a fraction, you can split the root across the numerator and the denominator. So if I have the nth root of a over b, it's equal to the nth root of a over the nth root of b. We've applied this concept as well when we were simplifying radicals and simplifying nth roots. And so if I have my first example, I have the square root of 81 over 25. So to simplify this, what I can do is split the square root across the top. So I have the square root of 81 over the square root of 25. And then simplify them separately. Well, the square root of 81 is 9. The square root of 25 is 5. So my answer is 9 fifths. It's the same over here. I have the square root of 49 x to the 6th over 16. Split it across the fraction. So I have the square root of 49 x to the 6th over the square root of 16. So the square root of 49 is 7. I mean, the square root of x to the 6th, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So you have x cubed over the square root of 16, which is 4. And so my answer is 7x cubed over 4. Now, this is a very basic video on the quotient property of radicals. There's a subsection of this that deals with what occurs when your denominator is not a perfect square. And we see in both of these examples, square root of 25, square root of 16, they were both perfect squares. And so this quotient property of is just splitting it across and simplifying to get an answer right away is very useful when your denominator is a perfect square. In the next video in this series, we'll look at what we're going to do when our denominator is not a perfect square, which is a subsection of this quotient property of radicals.